So with all the different keyboards, budget mechanical keyboards on the market at the moment, you actually don't need to spend a lot of money anymore to get a really good solid mechanical keyboard. And I've been sort of going through a lot of pre-builds lately, testing them all out. And the one that we have here today that the team sent over from Aula or Aula, A-U-L-A, I'm not exactly sure how they pronounce it. I'm gonna call it Aula. This is the Aula 75, a brand that I've never heard of. And they sent this over for my honest opinion, my honest review, which I'm gonna to give to you guys today. So I've had this keyboard now for about two and a half weeks. Um, this keyboard costs about 69 US dollars or 105 Australian dollars and includes free shipping. Now, getting this keyboard delivered and you know looking at it for a while on the website, getting a bit of an understanding on the specs and the features and just how much they've managed to fit into a keyboard for only about 100 Australian dollars, I was kind of nervous because generally when you try and squeeze in a lot of features into a certain price point, the quality somewhere has to, has to give, right? But overall, um, I was, you know, genuinely quite excited because from what I had seen online anyway, the community out there that's already sort of reviewed and used this keyboard has been saying a lot of positive things. So getting it out of the box, you can see it comes covered in a bit of plastic to protect it. And then we've got a dust cover over the top of the keyboard. Now this keyboard is a 75% keyboard with 80 keys. Um, you've got the user manual there, which comes in Chinese and English. And it tells you basically how to go ahead and cycle through the different colors because it is RGB backlit with function keys. So you can get used to all the different commands with the manual. There's a bit of a quick start guide there that you can cut out if you want to cut it out. So you've got it, you know, maybe at a quick glance, but that is only in Chinese. Chinese, so you might need to translate it. Um, now in the box as well, you've got a key cap and a switch puller because you can replace the switches with your own if you want to do that. And they included some other um, tactile switches here, maybe just to give you a bit of a sample because they also do sell different switches if you want to buy them. Then you've got the USB type A to type C cable, about a meter and a half in length, nothing special, just a gray plastic, very standard kind of cable. Um, and then we've got the keyboard. So taking the dust cover off for the first time and picking up this keyboard, it weighs about 850 grams roughly. It's a completely plastic construction for the body. So you are gonna get a little bit of flex there if you do wanna you know, flex it and push hard down onto it. But overall, the construction feels pretty good. You've got some adjustable feet here so you can change the height. There's actually a two stage adjustment there. So you can sort of give yourself a slight increase if you want to. Um, but overall for a completely plastic body, construction keyboard it actually feels pretty good but yeah it definitely has a bit of flex now the one that i've got here like i said this is the white version with the white keycaps with light blue and black as well you've got a rotary dial up in the top corner there to adjust uh, the volume or if you want to mute it but the actual keys felt really thocky and really solid considering um, that this keyboard doesn't cost too much now spinning it around you've got a usb type c connection for your cable that also charges the keyboard because it is wireless you've got bluetooth 5 5.0. If you want to pair it, you can pair it with up to three devices. And then you've also got a USB dongle there if you want to pair it in uh, the 2.4 gigahertz wireless mode. And when you're doing 2.4 or USB type C, you're pulling at about a thousand hertz, so really good for competitive gaming. But when you're in Bluetooth, it's only about 125 hertz. But yeah, overall feels really solid. So let's do a typing test so you guys can actually hear how this keyboard sounds. And then I'll come back to you guys with a bit of a overview on some of the functions, the RGB lighting, and my, I guess, conclusion to whether or not you should actually go out and buy this keyboard. So just a really quick run through on how to check the battery level and sort of sample some of the RGB lighting on this keyboard. So to check the battery level, you just press function B and you get this little 
cool graphic from the tilde all the way up to zero. So zero being full, one being empty. I think that's really, really helpful. Then if you wanna turn up the RGB lighting, you can just go function arrow up and then you can toggle the brightness so you can increase it and decrease it to your preference. And then function tab lets you cycle through the different colors. So if you've got a particular color you want just for the whole keyboard, you can do that. And then function slash on the right side lets you go through and cycle through the different 16 RGB modes on the keyboard. So there's plenty to choose from. You can also use software if you want to as well to, you know, I guess map specific keys to certain colors if you wanna do that. Uh, but personally, I like just having it cycle through and I'll just be leaving it like that. And then when I'm not, you know, when I'm working, the lights are all on in the office and stuff, I just turn it all the way down just to sort of conserve and save battery life. So I do like the fact that you can just quickly check your battery level like that. Um, you can also see what mode you're in if you just hold down the function key. So at the moment we're function W with the tilde, which according to the manual means 2.4 gigahertz wireless. Um, and then up in the top here, you've got a little indicator to tell you that, you know, the battery is running down. If you wanna go ahead and change that, you can go ahead and press function shift and it keeps it static on, or you can turn it off altogether if you want to. So that's your charge indicator LED up there as well. But overall, really nice looking keyboard. Now I've been using this keyboard for about two and a half weeks and I'm actually very, very impressed. I've had it paired with Bluetooth to my Dell work laptop and then I've got the 2.4 gigahertz wireless dongle in my gaming PC. And you know, just using that toggle switch at the back of the keyboard to switch between devices is super convenient. A lot of keyboards actually put that switch on the bottom, which is super frustrating. So I love that Aula has gone ahead and put that toggle at the front. It is a big tick in my opinion. Now the construction body being all plastic some people might have an issue with it. Personally, I actually don't have a problem with it being all plastic because it does feel really good. The amount of foam and layers they've got through this thing to absorb all of the you know impacts and sounds on when you're typing, it doesn't feel like a cheap keyboard. Like it's really hard to sort of convey it through you know a video uh, a video review. But overall, for you know 105, 110 Aussie dollars to get free shipping, to get a gasket mounted, hot swappable switch, mechanical mechanical keyboard with RGB backlighting, looks nice, presents really well, good battery life, like the battery only lasts, sorry, only lasts, has lasted me like easily over a week before needing to recharge it. And that's with me typing on it all day long with the RGB lighting on as well. So like it does last a long time in my opinion. Um, the software, yeah, it could be a little bit better, but I mean, at the end of the day for this price point, you're ticking so many boxes that I think it's okay to be like, you know, not having the most amazing software. So would I recommend it to you guys? 100% yes, because because I'm personally going to be continuing to use this keyboard over like my other more expensive Mons Geek keyboard with Cherry MX switches and Ducky keycaps. I really love this keyboard. It is honestly awesome and it's so versatile. So if you're thinking on getting it, maybe go on the website and pre-order now, there might be a bit of a wait because this keyboard I'm sure is gonna be very, very popular. If you have any comments or questions about this video or the keyboard, let me know down in the comment section. Links to everything is down there as well. Thanks to all of for sending it out and uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.